Hi, this is Ms. Valent. I'm going to go over exercise 113, the stop block in isometric. So, uh, if you're doing this at home, you, I recommend you use the smaller set square and you can just use it off the edge of your page or you can rule your own uh, horizontal line and then just work off that to build your shape. Okay, so I'm going to use a normal size one because I've got my uh, set square and um, T-square here. Alright, now to begin uh, we've got the crow's foot, okay, uh, that's where we're starting with technical drawing for isometric. Now for this particular one we've got uh, essentially one block on top of another. So if I quickly just sketch this out, uh, just to get a visual on how that might look, and that'll make it easier for me to understand how I'm going to put that together. So here on, um, you can see that we've just got our basic uh, rectangular prism base. At the back corner, we've got another block that's basically just sitting on top. So I'm just gonna be placing that block at the top back corner and then uh, making the, turning it into like a 3D block, so something like that. So it's a simple block on top of a block, okay, which is a nice uh, simple one in the early stages of isometric drawing to do. All right, let's start out by doing that base block and then we'll move into the second block sitting on top of it. All right, now we need to extend all these points out so extend them out so we've got something to measure along <coughs> so measure along these lines uh, I'm even going to, well I don't really need to extend that up because it's only, if we go 50 minus, it's only 20 50 take away 30, it's 20 up um, on this side we're going to, we're going to be looking at it like this so we're going to do the width on this side, the longer width on this side so 80 up here Okay, so we're going to mark 80, and then on the other side we're going to mark the 40. So this is going to be 40 along here. And then we take that up, so we're going to create a vertical off that, making sure it is vertical, so straight off the edge of our page, or the horizontal line, whatever you're using. Probably made that a little bit taller than it needs to be. Again, these are all construction line weights, so I'm going to be able to erase these easily later. Okay, the height of that base block is only 20, so I'm going to go up through the middle. And I like to take my measurements from this zero point. So if I take all my measurements from that one point, uh, things tend to be more accurate. But if I start, if I take a measurement from out here, I've got two points, um, I've got more chance of being inaccurate because of... Um, you know, sort of slowly increasing inaccuracies and accumulative inaccuracies as I come away from my zero point. So the closer, the, the more I can use this zero point in my measurements, the better, the more accurate it's likely to be, as long as I take care. Okay, so that is the height of the block. So now I need to just uh, create the parallel lines. That come out from that point so 30 degree projection lines out from that in that direction and out in the other direction okay I might just uh, give myself a vertical as well let's try to fit that in there it is all right now I'm gonna just create box in the entire shape so I've got this outside edge and I can come back in the other direction there and of course at the other corner coming back in the other direction there we go so we've got our basic base block uh, rectangular prism now we're going to pop it's kind of a bit like the crating method when we sketch things out um, we're going to pop this block at the back here so we're going to actually use this our point for our measurements there. So this block, uh, we're looking at the width of this block. If we look at it from here, we should be able to try and understand that 
um, how those measurements and how these views relate. So this is our front view, okay, and this is our top view, and then we've got a left side view. So looking around at that from the left, and this is looking at it from the top. Okay, so uh, this 20 relates to obviously the block on top, so I'm going to come out and mark 20 millimetres from the back here. And of course, the other measurement being 40. Now I'm going to sort of put where it sits on my first block as my first uh, few lines before I start getting any more volume going. I just want to see how those blocks relate. So how they sit together. Okay, so that is where it's going to be sitting, just like that top view. You can see the top view emerging there. Now we've got obviously some height on this being 30. Uh, so we need some vertical lines to be able to measure out our height. This is a bit tricky because the camera's in the road, but I'll do my best. Okay, I'm only going to do the lines that I can see from here, making sure everything's sitting against my true edge on my drawing board and with my T-square. Try that again. And then out here. Alright, so measure up 30. Oop. Measure up 30 on one of these lines. This one will be fine. And mark, making sure I'm looking at that square. Now coming across at an angle to sort of box in this shape. Now I could go over this with an art line um, and erase all my construction lines to make it look nice and neat at the end firm it in. Okay, it's really important when you're erasing to erase any line that uh, does not belong. So try and get a really nice sharp corner happening when you erase and don't leave any uh, extension lines hanging out because it uh, gives a false impression of what the shape should be. Okay, so we're getting rid of all that because it's not opaque. It's a solid, solid shape there. Sometimes if the eraser starts getting a bit like mine, you almost have to sort of chop it in half so you start to get like an edge that you can use for erasing sometimes on these drawings. And that's not too hard, you know, they are very soft these erasers, so if you need to, it shouldn't be too hard to just uh, break it. Okay, and then go around and tidy up all your construction lines at all of your corners. Okay, really important if you want to present a really nice clean drawing before you take photos, before you put it away. Alright, it's not too bad. There we go. Pretty good standard. Okay, so that's the stop block in isometric.